guys, it's Economics here and today I'm going to just be considering what the likely questions will be for Extract 1 for the F585 paper, June 2017. So, you'll know that the area of the specification which is being assessed in Extract 1 is this section here on macroeconomic performance. So this is the specification which you can download from the OCR website. I'm sure you've all got a copy anyway. And you will also know, I'm sure, you'll know the general structure for these F585 papers. We have a, a four mark question, a six mark question, a ten mark question. That is then repeated for question two. So that takes us to 40 marks. And then when we get to the last question, that's another 20 mark essay question, which then brings us to our 60 mark total. Extract one, in my opinion, number one, it's too long just to have a four mark question on it. So really we're looking at drawing out of this questions 1A and 1B. Now question 1A, the four mark question, always tends to be uh, something along the lines of either distinguish or describe or define that type of thing get you four marks and then our six mark question which would be question 1b will be some type of analysis question and you can see we've got various anal anal various things that you're asked to analyze in the macroeconomic section so what do I think are the likely questions for this summer? Well, I think you could potentially be asked, given what is in the introduction of the stimulus and also what's in extract one of the stimulus, maybe this one, distinguish between short run and long run economic growth. That would seem like a logical question to ask given the content of the particular pre-release material. Describe and understand the different stages of the economic cycle, maybe, although that was on um, a number of sessions ago. Um, so why might you anticipate that? Well, it does mention, both in the introduction and in extract one, it does mention this whole notion of recession. Um, so maybe you might be asked to describe and explain what is a recession, what is a recovery, what is a boom, you know, something along those lines. Define the national income multiplier and explain what determines its size. I think that's pretty unlikely, just given uh, the content of the extract material. And moving on, moving on, moving on. Moving on, that's it, really. So the possibilities and the possible questions that you could be asked on this one are very limited, as you can see. Uh, so those would be my uh, two or three potentials for um, question 1A for four marks. 1B is the six mark question, is an analyzed question, is always uh, an explain what theory suggests should happen in, in certain circumstances. Remember, analyze is not a sort of two-handed discussion type answer. Analyze is simply, this is a theory, this is economic theory, this is the diagram, and this is what economic theory says should happen. You don't need to get into the on the other hand type of business. So possible analyze questions, we're looking for direct word analyze. The nature and significance of output gaps, very strong possibility. What else have we got for analyze? Analyze the significance of policy rules targets and constraints in promoting uh, economic growth, stability, competitiveness. Now, this is also a strong possibility because one of the key constraints which is identified in extract one, if you've watched my previous video, you will know one of the key constraints is this whole notion of, re uh, on the one hand, reducing the fiscal deficit, whilst on the other hand, trying to inject some sort of expansionary ammunition and expansionary policy into the economy. Well, how can you bring down your debt and also spend big in the economy? So that is a, that's an analyzed sort of constraints aspect. So I've written a few questions out here for analyze, and at some point in the future, I will try and get all of these typed up, and maybe closer to the exam time, we can go through some uh, sort of structured answers. So, 
one A, we've already mentioned, so one B, analyze the significance of a, neg of a negative output gap, uh, given what's mentioned. So not just an output gap, a negative output gap, we're going to relate it to what is in our uh, pre-release material there. Uh, analyze the significance of the government's commitment to a budget surplus should the growth of demand falter. So there you're explaining why reducing the budget deficit uh, hinders the government's ability to stimulate economic growth because on the one hand they're pulling money out of the economy whilst at the same time trying to get the economy to grow. Or also analyse the significance of external factors on uh, you know, as a constraint to economic growth in the economy. And again, external factors are mentioned not only in the extract but also in the introduction with regard to our trading partners and what's going on in those economies and how that will affect net exports in the UK. So those are a few thoughts on extract one. It's fairly limited as to what you could, you could be asked because remember the exam board, they're not allowed to ask you anything other than what is here. So take, take comfort from that and use that to your advantage. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to stay on that one. And the next video I'll be back with then is something on extract two. Um, obviously on extract two, given the structure of the exam, we're then looking for a comment question on extract two. So that'll be our question 1C for 10 marks. Okay, I hope that's been of use. Uh, bye for now and see you.